Do you think Hurt's performance means that Wentz is officially done, that his time is up there? Yes. And Doug Peterson, what is he talking He'll have a decision tomorrow. I mean, how slow can you be to have a decision by tomorrow? It's the decision's over. It's been over. There are Later two different today. stories here. There's, there's Carson uh, t -t today, right. There's Carson Wentz yeah. and there's Jalen Hurts. Where do you want to start? Let's start with Jalen Hurts because he played last night, right? Three touchdowns in the first half. Five touchdowns no against, now against no interceptions, right? And this, with the offensive line and the skills position players that Wentz apologist, ahem, Orlovsky, have been pointing to to make apologies for Wentz. Same p p people. Why is that going on? By the way, you know why he had so many? He had the most chunk plays since. You know the last time a Eagles quarterback had three touchdowns in the first half since? Nick Foles, both times. Nick Foles. Same players Carson Wentz had. Nick Foles. So Nick Foles is doing it. Jalen Hurts is doing it. No, Jalen Hurts, by the way, you want to talk about his performance. Everything that could go wrong went wrong early. Intentional grounding in the end zone and, and uh, a block punt. You look up at 16-0. Did he give up or did he persevere? He was accurate all day. This whole time I was saying, Hurts must be showing nothing in practice. I'm starting to think it was the opposite. I'm starting to think he was showing stuff in practice. And, and this decision was too long coming. Now, from Carson Wentz's point of view, Carson Wentz, he, 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 he leaks now, now, that Hurts is making his second start, now you want to leak that? If that's Wentz leaking, and what, why would it be in the best interest of the other side of the team to leak? That's ridiculous. Why would it be? They wouldn't. Now you want to do that? It's a bad teammate. Guys, that's a bad leader. It's not a leader. You're pouting. You don't agree with the decision. You've been the worst starting quarterback in football this year. And every time another guy plays, be it Nick Foles or now Jalen Hurts, or, or even you talk about a 40-year-old quarterback on one leg in the playoffs, there's no perceptible drop-off between your play and theirs. And in fact, frequently the team plays better. And you're complaining? You're not okay with being a backup? you got no choice. No team's going to trade for you. Everyone knows that's an unmovable contract. Oh yeah, of course you play Jalen Hurts. Of course Wentz is done as a starter. This is obvious. It's a long time coming. I warned you every step of the way how to correct it, how to correct it, how to correct it. No one corrected it. This is where we are. Jalen Hurts ain't perfect, but it is his job to lose. Well, I disagree with that. It's his job for the rest of this season as well as it should be, and we need to find out more from him. I'm very impressed with what I've seen from him in the last two games. He deserves major props because I didn't anticipate seeing that. I'm also paying attention to the fact that in the two games that Jalen Hurts has started this year, last week against New Orleans, this week against um, Arizona, He's rushed, for, he's rushed 29 times for 169 yards. And he outrushed Kyler Murray yesterday and Taysom Hill the week before. I'm paying attention to that because that makes you a dual threat at the quarterback position. So let's give credit where credit is due. Let's understand that what Jalen Hurts has earned the right to do is to continue to move forward as the quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles in this lost season. Because the season is lost. It's pretty much over for the Philadelphia Eagles. We all know this, so let's just move on. Let's find out what this guy is. But I have no problem with Carson Wentz uh, not, not wanting to be a backup. He just signed for $107.9 million guaranteed less than two years ago. He's going to sign count about $59 million against the cap in the event that they let him go. They're stuck with him for next year. If I know, if I'm Carson Wentz, and I know that I'm going to be here next year, or the likelihood is that I'm going to be there next year, with the money that they've committed to me, yes, I play like straight garbage. <laughs> I need to recognize that. I need to recognize whether it was Nick Foles or, or, or anybody else, and now Jalen Hurts, and people were more receptive to them than being that way towards me. I really need to look in the mirror and check myself. But in the, by no means should he sit up there and concede this is Jalen Hurts' job, and moving forward into next season, coming into next season, I'm going to be a backup. I'm not going to be the starting quarterback for this team. No, I don't think he should have that attitude at all, and I don't have anything against him for that. This season, now that it's lost, and he had a lot to do with it being lost, that's one thing. But moving beyond this season, 
I have no problem with him having that kind of competitive fervor in his mind's eye because that's the way he should feel. Yeah, Stephen, I love you. I just don't see how there's any chance that he takes another snap for the Philadelphia Eagles. Carson Wentz. I, I, that. I, I don't. I, I, I have no so idea. I have no idea how they could sit there and give him the opportunity to be their starting quarterback again. I don't think he wants to be there, and I don't think that they can like believe that that would be a a healthy situation. Like this is a divorce that's going to be very pricey and it's going to be very ugly, but it's here. You know, like you mentioned, the the opportunity that Jalen Hurts has gotten was in part because Carson's poor play. But what I've kind of like started to realize over the past couple weeks is like how ugly this has been off the field. You know, you hear of the lack of leadership. You hear of the selfishness. You then the report comes out this weekend. Like, th this is not a healthy situation by any means within the organization. And there's a lot of moving parts to it. And, like, there's a lot of sacred parts of a football team, one being the locker room. But one of the most sacred parts in areas is a quarterback room. And I've been a part of some really, really awesome quarterback rooms that, you know, I know the, the room had a positive impact on the starter's play. It wasn't competitive. Competitive. It was still incredibly competitive, but it was, it was one that was very healthy. I, I, I have no idea how they both can be in a healthy quarterback room where one, Carson Wentz isn't looking over his shoulder because that's been happening since the draft pick was made, looking over his shoulder. And another, Jalen Hurts, if he's going to play well over the next two weeks, I have no reason to think he won't, is going, why am I not the starting quarterback? You know, why would I not be the guy that, that can lead this football team? I don't think Jalen Hurts is going to give up the starting quarterback job. I've said this multiple times. I believe in Carson Wentz's talent. I'll be very clear. Carson Wentz can still physically play in this league. But I want everyone to understand how quarterbacks think. Like, we are very territorial. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.